Hey guys, in this lesson, I show you how to create a walking animation in Anime Studio. I received this question a few times in some of my comments, and that is how to create a walking animation. Before I get started with this tutorial, I just want to point a few things out just to save some time here. First, if you don't have a character already drawn, you will need one, obviously, for this tutorial. I have made a tutorial on how to draw a basic cartoon character. It should get you started on the basics, so you can check that out if you wish. Number two, I have gone over in another tutorial on how to bind your layers to bones and how to create a skeletal structure for that character. I would recommend you check that tutorial out as well. That way you are up to speed and ready to get started for this tutorial. So now, once you have all those elements in place, and you have your skeleton set up for your character, we can get started. Making a walking animation in Anime Studio once you have the bone set up is actually a very easy thing to do. So let's just grab our character with the translate layer option and just move him over to the left side of the screen for a very basic example here. Now let's advance to frame one and then take our Manipulate Bones tool and let's place a starting position for this character. We'll kind of bring it over like this. Put his arm like that and go like that. Now we can advance a few frames to let's say frame 24 go like that. And I can switch a hand to a closed fist once I'm done here. And again, we'll go to just, let's say, frame 48, and basically repeat this process. Now what you can do, I do have a tutorial on the actions panel. So what you could really do here is you could save these actions that I'm doing and create a loop for your character walk if you don't want to keep doing this process. But this should be enough. We'll just go to frame four. Okay, now I can do a couple more things I'm realizing here. Like I can adjust the shift slightly so I can move the head and the body like this a little bit. And then when we go to frame 24, I can shift it up slightly. And just kind of repeat that process with the remaining frames. And finally, as I said, I have that hand open. I can easily close that. Just give me one second here. I just gotta switch the switch layer out for that. So on frame one, I'll just change it to a closed fist. So now we have a basic walking animation occurring here. The next thing we need to do is move the layer. So select your translate layer tool and make sure that you are on the bone layer and not the hand layer like I just was. And now we can go to frame one and just click to insert a keyframe and go to frame 96 or wherever your animation currently ends. And we can move the character like so. Come back to frame one and hit play. And we can see now that the character walks. Now there's a few things we can adjust. He kind of walks slow, not to mention, when we look at this, his footsteps are large. So we could uh, decrease the time between each step by simply coming to our timeline and moving our bone keyframes closer together.
And I can also now move the translate layer keyframe from frame 96 to close to frame 53 and see how this works. Might be a little bit too fast now, so I can adjust it just a little bit differently. Just spread these out a little bit more like that and try it again. And it's a little bit better. And as you can see, he ends on a step as if he's gonna to continue to walk. Well, if you wanted him to end standing, you could simply take your manipulate bones tool on that last frame and just adjust the legs back to a standing position so that you can complete the animation if you wish. But sometimes you might want to continue on with it, which is why I had it position the way I did before. So one more time now. He walks and then he stops. And that's just a really quick example. I could go in and tweak some more. I could adjust the legs a little bit more, the speed and so forth. So there's a lot of different things you can do there. There's a lot of different variables, obviously. But that is just a very quick example of how you can create a walking animation in Anime Studio. Anyway, I hope you guys found this helpful and I'll see you next time.